Elon Musk at the grand opening of Tesla's new Gigafactory in Texas last night. Phil Abo joins us right now with the highlights. Hey, Phil. Hey, Becky, it was vintage Elon Musk last night, right from the get-go. He drove out on stage in the very first Roadster that Tesla built. This was back in the days when it was a Lotus frame, and they basically put their battery pack on it. And when he drove out, what was he wearing? A big black cowboy hat. I wouldn't say Elon has gone full Texas, but he certainly has embraced the state. And he basically said to the crowd that was there, several thousand uh, invite-only attendees, that the deliveries, as they begin now at the Texas Gigafactory, this is going to be a plant that is building model-wise wise for sale in the eastern U.S. because there's more demand than supply right now. And in the words of Elon, this is the most advanced auto plant in the world. The prototypes, uh, are, they require imagination and, and they're not easy, but um, relative to production, prototypes are easy. Production is hard. And this building is the, the, the most advanced car factory that Earth has ever seen. And it'll be busy, too. The capacity, 500,000 vehicles. Look at the size of this plant. It is huge. It is massive. And that capacity, 500,000. Look, they're not going to get there right away, but that's what they believe they can ultimately achieve in terms of annual production. It is expected to use the new 4680 battery cells. That's where the battery cells are actually part of the frame. They connect the front part of the vehicle with the back part of the vehicle. You basically have three giant pieces that come together. Tesla's annual sales We'll get a boost, not only from this Gigafactory, but also from the Gigafactory that has just opened in Berlin. The current estimate is for the company to deliver 1.47 million vehicles this year. And again, there is a huge, huge demand uh, for the Model Y and a five to six month wait by one estimate. Dan Ives out with a note this morning saying, look, you got to wait five to six months if you want a Model Y. This should cut down on that wait time. Don't forget, Tesla reports its Q1 earnings in a couple of weeks. You guys know the date, right? April 20th. Get it? 420? 420? <laughs> All right. That's pretty good. I like it.